Okay, so this is an adorable project that is inspired by Andy Warhol. And so you could teach the kids about a little about Andy Warhol and show him show them some of his art, especially the art that is repeating printmaking with bright colors. And then you would need to maybe plan ahead and snap a picture of your class making a silly face or a serious face. And then I printed these in Lightroom, but you could use any kind of photo editing software, probably even on your phone, and just convert your photo to black and white, crop it so that it's mostly just the child's face. And I made uh, the contrast like all the way to the right. I, I really um, maximized the contrast and darkened the darks and lightened the whites. So that is what's gonna kind of remind us of Andy Warhol when we're finished. And this is going to be using graphics, computer graphics. And this is the adhesive backed film. So I will explain how we're gonna make use of the adhesive aspect. And then I also have chalk markers and colorful Sharpies and the brighter, the more fun for this. So because we have adhesive backed graph computer graphics, we're going to start with a background and I'm not gonna go over this in the video, it's just painted paper. You could use any kind of heavyweight paper and paint it any bright color with anything. It could be watercolor paint or acrylic paint, tempera paint. Um, this is watered down acrylic paint. So that is what we're going to adhere these onto. And when I when I clicked print, um, it this is the size of the paper. It's eight and a half by 11. Um, and then I went ahead, I, I think if you give a child this, they're gonna also waste time coloring in the border, which is fine if that's what you want. Um, but I wanted it cropped just to the child's face. So I went ahead and cropped it so that later I'm not cutting off something that they've drawn. Cause I don't think they'd like that. So we're just gonna decorate this kind of wild and crazy with the bright chalk markers and Sharpies. And you can do, I mean, the kids could do however they want. The paint, the chalk markers are a little bit, um, the paint sits on top of the computer graphics a little bit, so they look kind of streaky, um, but I still think it looks bright and cool. That's okay. Okay, so I know there's a bit of the glare from my lighting, but hopefully you can see I added some fun colors and I just you I traced the printed shape um, of the child's face to kind of inspire where my colorful shapes ended up. Um, I could even add more if I wanted to. I could color in the hair a little bit more and we don't really need to color in the background because we're going to be adhering it to this colorful painted paper. Um, but you can, It'll, the colors will just layer. So you can kind of do as much or as little as you have time for. So let's peel it open. So in Andy Warhol's art, there's usually um, the type of art that we're being inspired by for this project. There's like several of the same image repeated. So that's why I printed more than one um, of the child. So we're gonna peel this open. Okay, so I'm peeling it open and you can see this is actually clear, the side that has the printed photo. Um, and then this is adhesive. So I'm gonna stick this on the green paper um, just to, to add even more color by giving it that colorful background.
So I'm taping this down just to help you see um, with the glare going on from my camera setup, um, but you don't need to tape it while the kids work on it, unless you want to, unless you think it helps them. So since this, there's a lot of green showing on his face, I'm gonna try and do a different color to make his face look a bit different. Something that's very much not green. So let's do like more pinks and oranges. Okay, so I finished the second one and now I need to, some of this paint, um, I, as I tried to get it running from my chalk marker, it got a little drippy. So I think it'll dry in just a minute, but you'll see it's pretty thick right there. So I'm just going to, you could do, you know, a series of six on a larger paper, or you could have printed the photo smaller. Um, but I'm gonna peel this off now and place it beside the other portrait. Okay, so here is the transparent portrait and I'm going to just stick it, adhere it right beside the next one. And then I think um, you could crop your final background paper uh, closer in if you wanted, like I probably don't want this little border. Um, so this would be just cute as a series. And <laughs> you can tell I did, this one's kind of more wild and crazy with bright colors than that one. So it's just, uh, you'll, you'll get a variety. Oh yeah, and that did drip, but that's okay. It's just cause I had too much on there. Now, if you're working with computer graphics that's not adhesive backed, you could leave the paper transparent and you, you don't have to put it on something that's colorful. You, I could have put these on white too, instead of something colorful, um, but you could try, you could flip it over and add the color on the back um, if you're using something that's not adhesive backed. You, you might have noticed that a little bit of the black did pick up as I was coloring, but it didn't really make a difference at all. Um, but you wouldn't have that issue if you were coloring on the back of the printed image. So that's just a, another option. Both are perfectly fine. Okay, so here's my little finished Warhol inspired portrait, repeating portrait, and I did add just a, a few of these brighter colors over here on the collar and ears just to make a match a little better. So that's another thing that your little artist can keep in mind is that they're going to be placed next to each other. So you might want to have, you know, a balanced amount of the variety of colors um, in each portrait. So I think if you did a series of four or six of these, it would be so cute. 